Hello my dear friends, welcome back to CSER at home. In this video, we can discuss MCQs related to microbiology. Okay, question number 21. Who discovered bacterial transformation? Answer is Griffith. Okay, he conducted his experiment in Streptococcus pneumoniae. The strain is pneumoniae. Okay, Streptococcus pneumoniae. It is also known as pneumococcus, commonly known as pneumococcus. What was his experiments? He conducted experiments with this strain, that is Streptococcus pneumoniae. Hmm? First, he boiled a virulent strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae. Virulent means what is meant by virulent strain? Bacteria which contains a particular type of special gene that causes the disease. Understood? The bacteria carries a particular type of gene that is known as virulent gene. The disease is due to the presence of that gene which is present in which bacteria? Pathogenic bacteria. Okay. So, first he boiled the virulent strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae and then injected into mice. Okay. There was no disease. Okay. The mice was healthy. What he did in the second experiment, what he did? First, he killed the virulent strain. Okay. Virulent strain. That means virulent strain. Virulent strain. Okay. Boiled virulent strain. That means heated virulent strain. Then he mixed it with non virulent strain. Okay. Non virulent strain. That means non pathogenic strain. First, he boiled the virulent strain. That means heat. Okay. Inactivating. By inactivating it. Okay, heating, he boiled the virulent strain and mixed it with non virulent strain. That means leaving non virulent strain. Okay. What happened? Mice died. He described this process as transformation. Understood? Transformation. So, something from this virulent strain, okay, this inactivated virulent strain is transferred into non virulent leaving strain. That is known as transformation. Question number two Who discovered complement? What is meant by complement? It's a type of serum protein. Serum proteins. Okay, where it is present and coming. It is coming under innate immunity. Who discovered complement? Bordet. Complement means serum protein. Okay. Serum protein. So, what it's doing? The serum protein. The serum protein which binds to, it's bind to pathogen associated structures. Okay. Serum proteins bind to pathogen associated structures. And initiate destruction pathways. Understood? That is meant by complement. It is, it's a type of serum proteins. Okay. Pre-existing serum proteins in innate immunity. So, who discovered it? Bordet. Who developed complement fixation test for syphilis? Answer is Wasserman. What is meant by complement fixation test? That is antigen antibody reaction. Understood? It measures humoral immune response. Humoral immune response. Okay. Humoral immune response. The antibodies involving IgG and IgM. So, who developed complement fixation test for syphilis? Wasserman. Okay. It's an antigen antibody reaction. It measures humoral immune response. That means the response of this IgG and IgM against microbial pathogens. Okay. Against microbial pathogens. That means antigens. Against antigens. Who introduced antiseptics to prevent disease? 
answer is semel base semel base then who in uh, who is associated with antiseptic surgery antiseptic surgery antiseptic surgery that is by lister okay lister so the one who introduced antiseptics to prevent disease was which side is semel base antiseptic surgery joseph lister understood who developed electron microscope answer is ernest ruska okay that's so easy ernest ruska developed electron microscope question number 26 who proposed one gene one enzyme theory it was by beadle and dot understood they did their experiments on neurospora neurospora Crasser, Neurospora Crasser. Okay, Beadle and Totem proposed one gene, one enzyme theory. Neurospora Crasser is known as red bread mold. Understood. Who discovered a factor plasmid? That's by Jacob and Wallman. F factor plasmid that means fertile fertility plasmid fertility fertility plasmid it was the first conjugate u plasmid discovered in Essentia mala it's known as conjugate u plasmid it's a type of conjugate u plasmid okay so who discovered a factor plasmid it was by Jacob and Wallman. Question number 28. Who discovered streptomycin? Answer is Waxman. He got Nobel Prize for the discovery of streptomycin. Streptomycin is produced from which strain? Streptomyces greasius. Greasius that we have discussed. Okay. Streptomyces greasius. And there was one more scientist. His name is A.I. Schatz. His name is A.I. Schatz. They together discovered streptomycin. Okay. But who got Nobel Prize? Waxman. Okay. Only Waxman got Nobel Prize. He was a graduate student. He was a graduate student of Waxman. Understood. So who discovered streptomycin? Answer is Waxman. Schatz is also correct. Father of microbiology, Anton Van Leeuwenhoek. That you know. Okay. Can Anthony, Anton, okay, etc. You can call Anthony Van even who father of microbiology. Question number 30. Who is the founder of serum therapy? We can also call it as father. Okay, who is the father of serum therapy? Answer is Emil von Berry. What he developed, he developed antitoxin for diphtheria toxin. Okay, antitoxin. Which antitoxin? Diphtheria. Diphtheria antitoxin. The antitoxin work was started by which scientist? By the antitoxin work. Antitoxin work was started by Bering and one more scientist that we have studied, Kitasato. Kitasato. They together developed tetanus antitoxin. Understood? Tetanus antitoxin. Then one more scientist that we have studied. Paul Ehrlich. What he developed? He developed some standardization procedure to determine the quality of antitoxin. Understood? So who is the father of serum therapy? That is Emil von Behr. If you like this class, please subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you.